No, I was like, literally thinking the same thing. Yeah. I was like, it's so wrong yeah. to like not have both yeah. of them here. Yeah. But we do have both of them here, so. I don't know. It's just like weird. I'm just like, it is just kind of like, I don't know. It's just like freaky. Like even being around him now, it's like, I, f I don't know. I guess he's like normal now. I feel like he's not completely normal. I, I he's a little more tired than normal. Yeah, he's a little tired and just kind of like not really giggling or like doing as much. But like obviously it's like a day or two after. Him, yeah. So it's like, I don't know. It's we'll just like keep I'm, a close not, eye on it. It's not like I'm scared that he's like not going to go back normal. I'm just scared like more that like something else is going to happen like related to that or like like that. And mm -hmm. it's like, that's what's scared to me. I don't know. It's just like... I kept You're on, okay. I know, just like I kept on feeling like I was going to cry. Like. Oh. It's okay. It just shows how much you love him. Mm -hmm. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today isn't really that great of a video, I guess to say. Um, I always try my best to keep everything on this channel really lighthearted and happy, but today we're definitely talking about something a little bit more serious that happened to us recently, and um, I felt like it was just really important to share with you guys because this has definitely impacted me and Josh a lot, and it's just something that we wanted to share. Um, yeah. I'm not even sure how to get into this video, but as you guys can see, I'm by myself because Josh actually um, is really emotional about everything. Um, actually, more than I realized, um, I asked him to film this with me, assuming that that wouldn't be like an issue, and he told me that he just really does not want to talk about it. Um, and you guys are going to see some footage that we got um, from the incident, and he has refused to watch it back. Um, he definitely is taking it pretty hard, and um, I think that it's just in my nature. Like, you guys know I'm going for nursing. I'm able to talk about it a little bit better, I guess. So he's not going to be in this video. Um, uh, I think, though, from some of the footage we got in the hospital, he will be in that. But I'm just going to kind of get into what happened to us. Um, today is Monday, and this happened on Saturday. So it's still pretty fresh, which is why Josh doesn't really want to talk about it yet. I will be sharing with you guys what happened to Luke on Saturday. Um, I started to put some stuff on my Instagram story, so I know that some of you have probably seen um, some of what happened. But basically, we... Um, We just, yeah, it was not good. So I guess let's just start from the beginning. Um, this was right after their nap time. So the boys wake up at 3 o'clock and we change their diaper. Um, and we usually set them in their playroom. So their nursery is also like a playroom. And it's really, really baby-proofed and they have all their toys in there. So a lot of the times we'll just hang out in there for like an hour after they wake up to like get their energy out before we give them like a lunch or kind of like their dinner. Um, but basically we had them in their playroom slash nursery and we closed the door to come into my room, which is like two feet away. Um, it's right across the hall and me and him were actually planning on going out that day to film a video. We were going to go skiing and, um, we were going to be leaving the boys here with my mom and we never ever do that. So, um, that's like pretty out of the ordinary for us, which is kind of weird. This, the time it kind of worked out because we we were home we hadn't left yet when this happened but we were in the making of plans and we were sitting in my room and we were listening out for them I my card just was full um I also just got back from school so I'm like a little out of it because I've been going all morning but okay so um we were in my room they were in their nursery and we were talking for like five ten minutes and then um, Josh was gonna go and hang out with them and I was heading downstairs so um, he goes into the nursery playroom I keep like messing over my words so Josh was going into the nursery and I was going downstairs I was talking to my mom um, and all of a sudden I just hear Josh like screaming my name 
and like I could hear right away that something was wrong and so I ran upstairs and I was honestly just like so scared because I could tell that something was wrong and like I was as I was going up the stairs I was yelling at Josh like does something happen does something happen and he just kept saying like you just need to come here you just need to come here I was so so scared to like see what I was gonna see and um I walk in the room and basically like I hate to say this and I know that it sounds so horrible but I really thought that he was dead and I I just saw Luke on the ground and his eyes were open but he was just like not there and his neck looked broken just the way that it was like positioned and like just the way that I was looking at him and I could see Josh like shaking him like not shaking him but like touching him and trying to move him and like yelling his name to get his attention and he just was not moving and he was not moving his eyes and he was not looking at us and I could see that like his stomach and his hands were like shaking like I could just see his stomach like moving weirdly and I took that all in within like five seconds before I started screaming for my mom to come upstairs um <laughs> It, in in my heart I'm still kind of a child <laughs> and I felt like I needed my mom too um so like I just started screaming for my mom to come upstairs and I was a mess like as soon as I saw him like and I know this this is not how you should necessarily react in a situation like this but like I just couldn't help it I had never like seen that like ever happened to anyone never mind my own kid and it honestly just like hit me so hard and all of these thoughts started going through my mind about what like life would be like if like Luke wasn't there and just and I saw Zeke and Zeke was so concerned he was like trying to get over to his brother and like we were having to pull him away and um, my mom's boyfriend was actually here too, so they both came running upstairs, and my mom walked in the room and saw him for like two seconds before yelling at me to call 911. So I've never called 911 before, and I'm honestly like, in the past when certain things have happened, like when, I don't know if you guys remember, but a while back, um, Josh was cutting Luke's fingernails, and he clipped Luke's finger, and it was like bleeding pretty bad. And even then I was like, we took a while to get to the emergency room just because we try not to make it like a big fuss and like um sort of like hinder other people with like our issues like if it's not a big issue so like with calling 911 I was like oh my gosh like this is serious because we would never call 911 unless it was absolutely needed so um at this point I was like in a corner just like crying and shaking so badly on the phone with 911 and obviously the first thing they ask you is your address and I'm trying to like get all my information to the dispatcher and basically all I heard was that like um she said that an ambulance was coming and the cops were coming and um I told her that we had an 11 month old baby that was like unconscious and maybe having a seizure and we did not know what to do um and she gave us a little bit of direction but just told us to wait for the ambulance to come. So I hung up with her and I and I went over to Luke. And at this point, I had saw when I was on the phone, I saw um, Josh and my mom and my mom's boyfriend, his name is Jeff, um, trying to pick him up and see if he would like react at all. And his body was just limp, and he was literally just no movement. He was just 100% not there. And honestly, like, I feel like my brain, it's like looking back on it, I, I'm having, like, trouble, like, really picturing what happened. But, like, the way, the look on his face just scared me so much. Just, like, seeing his eyes, like, glazed over and just knowing, like, he was literally not there. It was the scariest thing ever, like, the scariest thing, and, um, yeah, and that's just, and I think this is why Josh is struggling with it so badly, because, like, honestly, it was scarring, like, 
extremely scarring seeing him like that and we were both didn't know if he was alive it was so hard to tell if he was breathing or not and he just looked he was sweating so much and we just thought like oh my god like we all we can do is sit here and wait like we can't do anything to help him and so after probably two minutes of that um um he started to wake up almost like he started to like look around a little bit and move his arms and his head um we had like moved him off of a play mat onto our like play mat um like on a hard surface and um he was not trying to move he was just looking at us and he was like grunting and it sounded like he was struggling a little bit and it was really scary because at this point like I was sitting next to him holding his hand and just being like it's okay it's okay and this is where I have this is where I started recording um, when he was waking up and I was trying to get like some of it on camera because his hands were still like convulsing I don't know if that's the right word and his eyes were like kind of like doing some weird stuff so I was trying to get that on camera and um this is where I'll put in the video um and yeah you can hear how emotional I am in it and um yeah it was just definitely a really scary moment so I'll put the video in here right now hey, I'm taking a video hey that his hand is still like that you see that fucking weird that was scared the sh mom. I literally thought he like broke his neck or something. Me too. It just looked so Me bad. Me too. I thought like Zeke may have like accidentally done something. <laughs> Are you okay, honey? Let's just keep him still. Okay. Yeah, that was. That was so. Freaky. See, now he's moving, but he yeah, wasn't but he moving was, his neck. No, he literally looked like he like couldn't yes. move his neck, and it looked so freaky. I like almost like died. <laughs> I could hear Andrew's voice too. I was like, fuck. Now he's like okay, but like I don't know. That was so weird. Are you okay? He's like doing weird things. I know. Let's just, just get him to his eyes. He's just weird. He doesn't even like. No, his like I know, eyes. I know. I know. I know. It's okay. You want know his eyes? I know. I know. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Mom, that's yeah, not normal. I know. I know. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I know, I know, I know. It's okay. <laughs> Hi. The ambulance is coming in as well. Okay. okay. <laughs> It was weird. He, it's um, really hard to explain. He was laying here on his plate mat, and all of a sudden, he like it was like he had a broken back. He couldn't move, and he was like, he was like shaking. focused on one spot, and he's still doing some weird little twitching and weird little <laughs> eye movements and stuff. That's freaking around. Mm, you just never like this. <laughs> this is what is most common. Especially with COVID-19, it's like a febrile seizure. If the fever gets high, mm. it, it will mimic yeah, a seizure. Yeah, because he was really activity. sweaty. Yeah, he's got really hot. I don't know. <laughs> he's moving okay now, but it was really it's freaky. Very... I mean, I don't know if no, he this is weird. Thing. He doesn't do this. His face, okay. his hands were like shaking. Just try and get him to look at you, Sophie. Like, Lookie, Lookie, He's looking at the policeman. It's okay.
Okay, but he's just like making weird movements. He's like not really focusing on stuff that well. Okay. His eyes were kind of. Hi. <sighs> when did you guys notice this? Like, like five, five minutes, minutes ago. ago. He had a fever or anything? Just just like, we didn't think he so. He's been totally fine all day. Okay. Go to the hospital. Yes. Today, right? mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so we just need the car seat because we'll put that on the structure and okay. you can ride along with him right in the back. Okay. So as you guys can see, it was really emotional and really hard. So at that point, we got Luke in a car seat, and he was all strapped up to all these stuff that the EMT put him on. We got him in the ambulance, um, went to the hospital, and there's obviously a bunch of little stuff that happened that's not really important, but we... Um, he was being a little bit weird in the ambulance with like zoning off and it was taking us a while to get his attention Which isn't like him at all And so we were noting that like the EMT was writing that down and telling the doctors that um, When we got there, so we ended up sitting in a waiting room because he was like Conscious and he was letting me hold him and looking around We waited for a doctor and honestly guys in the end um, this is why we were struggling with it still is because we went to the hospital and left with basically zero answers as to what happened. Um, I do have some footage from the hospital that I'm going to put in. It's okay, is that you? Is that you? So guys, we're in the hospital right now and, um, he just got his blood drawn really sad and so he has like the needle on his hand right now Ooh. which is probably uncomfortable for him oh my god okay um it's right here it's okay it's okay it's okay it's really fidgety no 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 we're not gonna put that in your mouth but um honestly in the end we were just told that this was something that was very like unexplainable they kept using the word unexpected and unexplainable um and random and that there really wasn't any noticeable cause like he's a healthy baby um they did a physical exam on him and they said everything looked good he was eating um drinking so yeah it was really hard for the doctors to like give us any real answers and we did a blood test they did a blood test for him and the doctor came back saying that they looked okay he said over and over again they looked okay and i just had no idea what that really meant but he was like he's good enough to go home but you need to take him to your pediatrician um probably i'm guessing our appointment with our pediatrician is tomorrow so i'm guessing that it's going to be we're going to be able to look at the lab results with her but me and josh are still just a little on edge with not knowing exactly what it was um we think that it was a, some sort of seizure but he didn't have a high fever so it wasn't i think it's called like a 
fe febrile. It's, yeah, there's a name for a seizure that happens when you get a really high fever, but he didn't have a fever, so it wasn't that. But, um, yeah, we're going to just talk to our doctor tomorrow and hopefully get some more answers and tell her that we're just a little bit uncomfortable um, seeing that, like, something like that happened and then we just go home with zero answers. But here we are, and we're all okay right now. Um, and obviously time is what's going to heal it, so... It was definitely just a very scarring moment for all of us, but I really don't want this video to be super, super long of me seriously just rambling, but we really appreciate you guys so much, and yeah, so I think that's all I can really say. I wish that I could put him in this video, but he's sleeping right now, and I'm going to let him sleep, so um, yeah, but we actually have... Um, some really good videos coming soon. I know that's totally off topic, but we do have some really good videos coming soon. Um, the babies are turning one in like two weeks, and I'm turning 18 in like two weeks. Our birthdays are three days apart. Mine's on the 16th of February, and theirs is on the 19th. Um, so we have like so much coming up, but I'm so excited um, to just keep moving forward, and like they're seriously gonna be one years old. Like it's a whole nother chapter of their life that's coming, and it's crazy so that's it guys josh will definitely be in the next video and um yeah that's really it we love you guys so much we'll see you in the next video